guys, it's Alicia Savings, and I'm back with another video. Today is Tuesday, November 27th, and as you guys can see, I've been out penny shopping at Dollar General today. Now, I got up first thing this morning, took the kids to school, and went and sat in Dollar General's parking lot waiting on them to open. I went in about six different stores today and found items in four of the stores that I went in. Now, the main focus of my hunting today was to find these Wildberry Fruit Loops because we want to go on and stock up on those Food items, especially having three kids, they go through cereal like crazy. And I only found these three boxes in the last store that I went in today. So I won't complain. At least I found some of them. Like I said, that was my main focus of my hunting today. I wasn't really interested in looking for any of those Halloween decor or any Halloween candy items because we don't need any of that stuff. I did see in one of the stores I was in, two ladies that were in there penny shopping, and they did have some Halloween candy and Halloween, like baskets and um, other little decor items that they had found, and good for them if that's what they wanted. I wasn't interested in finding any of those items, so I didn't really even look for those. I went straight into every store, went to the cereal section, checked the cereal end cap, checked the regular cereal section, and checked the top shelf over the cereal to see if I could find these um, Fruit Loops. Now, the end cap is where they should have been located when the stores received the shipment of these Wildberry Fruit Loops because they do not have a spot on the shelf with the regular cereal. So make sure that you check all three of those locations when you're looking for these Fruit Loops if you're interested in finding them. Now, it's just a 10-ounce box. I don't believe Dollar General sells any other like wild berry fruit loops so you want if you see this box here this is going to be the right one i didn't even look to match up the upcs or anything because i was pretty certain that this was the right box um you know i showed you guys the picture in the last video of what it should look like as soon as i seen it i knew i always referred back to my pictures that i include in the videos for you guys and i also refer back to the list to check up on the upcs but when I looked at the pictures and I just knew that that was the right box, I went on and grabbed all three of them in the store that I was in. And funny enough, like I said, they were on the top shelf in the store. I reached up and I grabbed two of them. The third box was back a little bit further, so I couldn't reach it. So instead of asking the associate for help, because we never want to ask the Dollar General employees to help us with any penny items or to help um, look for penny items or to where any penny items are i went over to the other side of the store where like the trash cans and stuff are and got a little step stool off the shelf went back around to the cereal section and got on the step stool and reached up there and grabbed the box of cereal <laughs> so i could go on and purchase these items today and i did before i went up to the checkout i did go on and check the expiration date on them because sometimes the dollar general employees will try to pull that as an excuse to not sell the items to you especially food items they'll say oh well these are expired i can't sell them to you so before i went up to the register i did check and see that these do not expire until june 23rd 2019 so that way she couldn't pull that excuse on me and try to not sell me the cereal um, I didn't have, didn't get any hassle out of any of the employees that were in the stores today. So I was glad for that. But let me show you guys the other items that I found. Like I said, I wasn't looking for any of the Halloween items, but I did search for some of these other items that were on the list. I did find one of the Dr. Scholl's lower back pain um, orthotics here. And these were over in the regular section with the other orthotics. They had it on the little peg with the other ones. I found... Four of these Dr. Scholl's heel cushions. And when you're looking for these, you need to make sure that it says women's right here. Because they do sell these in men's. And it'll be, it'll say men's and it'll be wrote in blue here. And I don't know what size it is, but they don't have a M for men, obviously. So I did find four of these. Um, two of them I found over in the regular section with the men ones. And the other two that I found in the last chance section. And then I also found nine of the aloe infused socks. I was really excited about these. These were back in the last chance section and they are really, really soft. I plan on sticking these in Christmas bags for gifts for everyone that we're going to be exchanging gifts with this Christmas season. So that'll be a really good thing just to throw in for everybody. And on these right here, I flipped over, looked at the UPC first off. And the UPC code on the packaging here does not match the list. That's why I say you always have to either match up the UPC or just match up the description. I was 
about 95% positive by the description that this was the right item. So I went on and grabbed every one of them that were on the shelf and went to the checkout with them. And just a little reminder to you guys, don't get discouraged if you go into your Dollar General stores and you don't find any of the penny items. That doesn't mean that you're not doing a good job. It just means that your Dollar General employees are doing a good job because... They are supposed to pull all of these items from the store floor. Now, the stores receive the list on Friday. And the memo says that before open of business on Tuesday, 1127 or whatever the given date is, it says on the memo for them to have to find and remove all of the remaining inventory of these items before Tuesday morning. Now when the stores fail to find all of the items or they just fail to go look for them because sometimes the stores just don't even care to go search for the items, that is when we get to go in and hunt for these items. It's literally called penny hunting for a reason because you're going to go in and literally hunt for these items. You're gonna look high and low in between, you know, just you're going to look everywhere in the store to see if you can find these items. And don't feel like you're doing anything wrong or anything like that because you have found and purchased these items for a penny. Don't think that you're cheating the store or going to get any of the employees in trouble or anything like that because they failed to do their job. And it is in Dollar General's policy that if you find penny items, you go to the register to check out to purchase them. They have to sell you the items that you have in your buggy. So if you go into the stores and you found seven boxes of the Fruit Loops, grab all seven boxes of the Fruit Loops, go to the register and purchase them. They have to sell them to you. Now if you go in and only grab one box of them and leave the rest of them on the shelf, the store employees can then at that point refuse for you to go back and grab the rest of them because they have to sell you the ones that you have. Generally if you go in and buy one of the items and leave the rest on the floor they'll typically ask you where you found it at because they're going to go look for it and remove it from the sales floor because that's what they were supposed to have done so i just wanted to go over that um again with you guys i know a lot of people are new to penny shopping and don't know all of the rules and regulations quote unquote the rules about penny shopping just remember that these are discontinued items that dollar general is no longer going to be selling they have decided to penny them out from their inventory and the Dollar General employees are supposed to go and pull them from the shelf. And when they fail to do their job, we get to go in and purchase these items for a penny. So don't feel bad. <music>